This is Kathy Vick, Deeply Awake. And so, we wish to discuss quite briefly about the uh, unexpected benevolent outcome, something that the Crayon had talked about. We believe in the year of full moon, which was 14. It could have been then, could have been the next year. Uh, but as a group, many of you have been given the carrot that things are going to get better. This was the meditation as we dressed. How is it that someone so privileged with intellect and wit, with the quickness of uh, intuition, and clearly a lightness of spirit, uh, with uh, some privilege, not much, but more than most. How could this one have suffered so bad? Why was she feeling like her soul was going through a garlic press? When she had it off pretty good. My God. What an ungrateful psychotic. This was part of the thinking and this is what we want to expose for all of you, okay? She had admitted, she felt certain, her parents knew that if they laid a hand on her in anger, outside of a ritualized spanking which uh, seemed to see the deal and make it impossible to behave in such a way. Uh, it would have killed her. And uh, she knows this walking into any relationship. <laughs> it doesn't take much to kill her dead. This is why, with being sensitive to energy, and, uh, you know, the the assertion that there's an energetic master before you um, is not a post. It's simply a statement of fact, uh, a deduction to be true. So, um, as such, can you not see how any change in modulation would uh, feel like a death in a way? And there have been uh, many, many shifts. There have been many stops and starts, and there have been many resets. So with her, of course, she had this dream of being told she was going, she felt like she was dying all the time, all up and down and up and down, and it was so exhilarating and fun and scary and oh, and then boop, hmm, it was over. There had never been a reason to worry. She was with people and she petitioned them. Why? Why did you not tell me? And we did not answer her in the dream. And uh, we answered her instead. Uh, now. And you witnessed it. So um, it is impossible sometimes in the depths of despair when all you're being handed is blows and whether they be energetic ones, uh, interpersonal relationship ones, um, unexpected news, many things, <laughs> many, many ways to smack somebody and, and, and <clears throat> do that to the hat. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> but often we would suggest it does not have to be a blow to the head can be as simple as a slight to someone who is sensitive. And that is why, in part, the idea of compassion is not such bad practice as everyone becomes um, more sensitive. When you are sensitive, then uh, the things that are unpredictable become things that must be managed and coped with. And this refers again to the modulation of being used to having it wide open and being so sensitive to it being turned down. We would suggest this uh, could be a helpful concept with those who uh, care for those who are autistic. Being set wide open sensorially is uh, difficult. Difficult. Difficult to manage uh, anything except getting out the next word and it begins to not feel very important. And uh, finding some peace starts, we would suggest. So regardless of the coding, 
that is a coding of a generation. They have taken on a generational conflict in our humble opinion. Less about cracking that code, although a nod to it is fine. It is managing the symptoms that is the cure. We would suggest, or at least an uh, adjunct, and we would say it's a twin. So, unexpected benevolent outcome looks like a miracle at first, does it not? Isn't that what that is? When you are walking into a firing squad and the bullets somehow miss you? When you don't have enough money to pay your bill and then you encounter something that allows for just that much amount to uh, be free for expenditure. Isn't that a miracle? Well, we would suggest if you haven't had very many of them, then yes. That's what a miracle is, dear one. That's a miracle. Unexpected benevolent outcome becomes uh, a way of life, but uh, it at first shows as synchronicity, you would suggest. It requires a certain sensitivity and willingness to suspend disbelief. Ah, that flower is talking to me. It has a message for me. Ah, that television show reminds me of that day in the park, which uh, brings to mind something I can't quite recall, but I understand as a result, blah, blah. See? Synchronicity. I have no idea how I'm going to have any of this happen. And at, at, at what time will I have any sort of peace? Driver's license goes by a driver plate. 888. You pick it up, you don't. Eh, so what? Synchronicity. It begins to weave. It makes a weave. And it becomes a pattern after a while. But you have to become sensitive to it. Just like looking up at the clouds, you know. <laughs> uh, it's not just blue skies and fluffy clouds up there, dudes. But you have to look. You have to have the eyes to see. And so we say that in the end, our unexpected benevolent outcome can indeed become a way of life. It has to do with not resisting. If there is resistance, there is uh, an awareness that is still lurking for your benefit. There's a gift that you have not yet unwrapped. We would suggest that on Christmas morning when everyone is uh, groggy and excited and a little bit nervous, and, but only for good stuff, that uh, in some families, it's quite sedate and quite a sacred act. In other families, everyone goes at it all at once and in a flurry ha, of paper and ribbon and squeals of laughter, things are revealed. Whether it's slow and in a nice pattern, with ease and gentleness and grace, or whether there's a flurry Perhaps this is a family who likes to celebrate several times that day. Perhaps so. Perhaps they have not been together for a very, very, very long time. Oh. And it begins to make more and more sense to stretch this thing out. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Wouldn't it be fun to work with uh, unseen friends? and litter the place with presents. But at first, there's not a whole lot of them. And in between the presents, there can be dirty carpet, there can be cold concrete, 
There can be blood soaked grass. Just the path. But there's a present. And it could be something called a miracle, but is it? Because it feels so familiar. It's. I know it's something that if I explained it to anyone, they might laugh at it because it seems so personal, but it seems so, I don't know, like something reached out and saw me. And I knew magic. Just, I, I knew magic. It could have happened, and yet it did. That's a miracle, and that's unexpected, benevolent outcome, and that is synchronicity, and that is what you have earned by getting rid of attachment, by getting rid of illusion, by getting rid of patterning, codes, meanings that weren't sturdy, that weren't benevolent told a mean and cruel tale, assuming that the one it was about and for and with had it out for the main character, but somehow the main character overcome. We would suggest that time is done. We can put away that storybook, the one where there are great obstacles everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And the battle is, must be fought, even though you, w even though the battles that you lose, the war is still won. The war is still won. Light always, always, always wins over attack. Dark is just a shadow. And it expresses is concrete and blood soaked grass, hardwood floors, dirty carpet. It expresses as miles and miles and years and years in the desert. But soon enough, and often, when you can just keep in mind that it's probably once or twice happened before. If I could just remember, oh yes, there was that one summer. Oh yeah, I remember when that happened. Can't you see? The lights are coming up. So, uh, this one did a fine job. It was a good meditation and we're proud of her. Uh, this is the deepening. This is the love which was opened by those two beautiful women yesterday on the side of a hill in Loveland. This is a heart that must express love. It has not felt, has not been able to express for so long. So please, rest easy. Fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, dear ones, fear not, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Remember. Remember when it worked out okay. Remember. But it, it shouldn't have, but it was better than you expected. Maybe it's only happened at half strength once in your life. But remember. That was Mother talking to you, saying, Baby, this is what you're worth. I see you. I want you to have it easier. Please let me. Please ask me, and I'll help you every single time. You just forget to ask, dear one, that's all. Remember, remember, remember. We are pleased with this video. We uh, would like to do one at bedtime. The, the Vespers that we did were saying goodbye. And we wish to honor them tonight. Tear one around 10, please.
Your brothers will be riding the table. It has been a long time. I expect another gift, dear. Expect unexpected miracles, dear. Miracles. We love each and every one of you. For 